And when year 12 is all about making that step up from GCSE to A level. Don't panic, but it's much harder. Expect to find in the first few times you take a A level exam that you don't do as well as you did in your GCSEs. And be suspicious if you're already getting A's, I would suggest. <laughs> You know, if you're not in this year group, it would be really helpful for you to comment. Um, if you are in year 13 and you're thinking about what you wish you'd done in year 12, then leave a little comment below. Start to make really high quality notes. Think every single time you're making a note of something, what's the purpose of that? Is it going to be useful for you to look over later on? You don't need to keep everything, just make sure what you do keep is actually worth your time looking over later. It's really easy to get into the kind of habit of just thinking that it's all about that exam. Yes, that exam is important. Yes, that exam is when you're going to show that you're ready for the next step. But make sure that you don't kid yourself and think because you're smart enough now to find those exam resources that that's the main thing and the only thing you should be doing. Make sure that you're using all of the different types of resources. Make sure that you're using the textbooks well. Make sure that you're using the videos well. Make sure that you're using your teachers and the lessons really, really well and not just getting bogged down straight away in that exam preparation. Get your resources ready. Don't just get revision guides because actually although they're, they're good and they cover everything, they rarely take you beyond the kind of C grade level or A level. You need to be tackling the questions, the hardest possible questions that examiners can come up with and they're generally going to be found in the textbooks that are written for your course. So make sure that you've got textbooks for the specific course that you're doing and I've got some links for some different textbooks that I'd recommend for different courses in the description. The mock exams are going to be really important at the end of year 12 and don't kid yourself because again although you're able to find those papers and they're pretty much all going to be available to you online don't bother going and looking for them your teachers are planning to use those papers to get a kind of grade of where you are where you're up to why not instead of doing the ones for your specific course do the past papers for a different course and leave the actual exam papers for your course for your teachers to use as proper mark exams and mark and be able to feed back to you so that you're not getting this inflated sense of how well you're doing because you already know the questions when you sit down and you tackle those mark exams enjoy it get to love your studies this is year 12 now and you're only doing three or four subjects that you've picked and make sure that by the end of year 12 you know exactly what is expected of you in those exams and in that year 13 but that you know exactly why you love it and why you want to put the effort in and why you want to get that great grade and why you want to go on and do whatever you want to do with those A-levels in the years to come. Get into the habit of keeping things in a folder but don't carry everything around. You know, By the end of year 12 you could have a gigantic lever arch file full of paper and probably about 10% of that is ever worth you looking over again. So have yourself maybe a system of three folders, uh, one that you carry around that's just got your absolute current week by week, very small, just what you're working on that week. One at home that you file everything in, and one that you know is your absolute best work that you keep, maybe that's your some of your coursework or things that you're actually going to write up on the computer, and keep that really nice, and that's gonna be the best thing for you to look over when you're revising later. And whatever you do with filing, just get a system that works for you. This video is about getting amazing AM results. And remember, this is going to be two years of some really hard study. Don't be surprised when you have to work really, really hard to get your kind of best grade. At A level, an E is a pass, right? It's not like a GCSE where you really need to get a four or a five to show that you could pass that subject. An E is a pass. If you think about all the kids who are taking A levels, now they either got um, sixes, sevens, or eights, or nines at GCSE. The ones who got six and sevens, they're likely to be getting the E's and the D's, maybe the C's if they're working really hard. And the ones who got the sevens, eights, and nines, they're going to be going for the B's, the A's, and the A stars. So don't be surprised if you find at A level that you're working at an E grade level. And in fact, if that's your best grade, you should be really proud of that. It still carries UCAS points and it can still get you into university. Get ready for the challenge, grade up to the challenge, and I'll be producing resources this year to actually make sure that you understand how to get there, how to make that step up from GCSE to A level. And one of the things, if you follow my channel, and if you make sure that you get notifications enabled, you'll be able to see my A level live show where I'll be going through kind of step by step exactly where you should be at in your journey towards those grades at A level. <laughs> 
to be in year 12 now, but maybe leave a comment, say what you wish you'd done differently when you were in year 12.